Hi everybody, Frank Jansen here. Today, we are gonna talk about the four basic chords you need to know on piano. So if you are playing at your church, at mass, at liturgy, um, you've probably had many different types of music that's been handed to you. Maybe music where um, everything was written out, maybe music where all the piano part is written out and chords above it, maybe a lead sheet, which is just the melody and chords written over it, or even where the words are typed out and the chords are written over that. So as a piano player, what do I do? How do I play these chords? What am I supposed to do here? So the other consideration is if you are playing with a group, with an ensemble, let's say you've got a guitar player and you have a maybe a drummer or a percussionist or whatever, sometimes the written out piano part is just a little bit too busy for what everybody else is doing. That's a whole other discussion in another video, which we'll, we'll catch at another time. So when you're seeing these chords, for this video, we're going to talk about the four basic chords that you need to know. Or, there's many more, of course, and we'll talk about this later. But right now, what we want to talk about are major chords, minor chords, seven chords, and minor seven chords. Most of what you're going to be dealing with for musical liturgy is going to involve those four chords. So I'm going to show you how to figure them out. So let's say we'll, we'll take the key of C. Okay, if you see a C chord, that means the root or the bottom note is going to be a C. Okay, so whatever the name of the chord is, if it's a D chord, D is going to be your bottom note, or E chord. So how do we figure out a major chord? Well, if we take C as our root, a major chord, we're going to go up one, two, three, four. And then you're going to go up one, two, three. Okay? So you can figure out any chord by this, this pattern, any major chord, okay? So you start with your root, you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay? That's it. So you can do this anywhere. Let's say we run B flat, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay? If we're in the key of E, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, minor chord. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So it's it's just the opposite, right? So any minor chord. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay? So a major chord is up four, up three. A minor chord is up three, up four. So you can do this anywhere. If we're in the key of G. Okay, minor chord. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay? So now we have major, minor, in any key. Okay? Now, if we want to make that a seven, that's simple. <clears throat> okay? If you notice, say back to the C chord, whether we're playing a major or a minor, the two outside notes are the same. The first, and then this would be the fifth of the chord, okay? But the two outside notes are the same. So, to make it a seventh, you go up a three again. Okay? You go up three again, okay? So let's say we're, we want a D seventh, okay? So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. If we go a minor chord, minor seventh chord, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. That's going to give you your basic major, minor, seventh, minor seventh. Okay. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is practice these in all keys. Okay, 
take your time. What you basically want to do now is you want to memorize these, right? But how you figure them out. So let's say you're, you say you have a D flat chord. You say, well, how do I play a D flat seven chord? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So we're going to stop with that. So major, minor, seventh, minor seventh. Okay. Work on those. And some later on videos, we will cover more. We'll teach you how to expand on that. We'll teach you inversions and we'll cover other things. But right now, let's just make sure we have those four basic chords down. Okay. So have a great day, everybody. And keep practicing.